Tennessee. I mean, <laughs> Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We are. We're here in Gatlinburg. It is Friday. Spring break is still going on. We're going to take a walk through town. We're going to see what's new and what's changed and just take in Gatlinburg on a Friday afternoon. Dawn, are you ready? Ready. Let's do it. Let's do this. So it is Friday. It's still spring break, but spring break is winding down after this weekend. It should be a little more relaxed until the rod run comes. And it is cold. We're supposed to be celebrating <laughs> Spring Fest right about now. And these jackets are barely going to keep us warm. But once we start walking down the parkway, it's be too hot. yeah, we'll start building up, you know, some heat. Well, let's go ahead. Let's walk through Gatlinburg. Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies is looking good. Looks like there's some folks over there getting some tickets to head on inside and see those crazy Jabberjaw sharks. Hey, I'm gonna head into the Buckboard too real quick. See if there's anything new. So if you're into pop culture, they have pretty much everything in here. It's a really cool little, little store. Oh, it's old Spock and he's got, he's got his ears. Shake it, y'all. Shake it. <laughs> they even got the Duke up there. We got to do this famous crosswalk there on Abbey Road. Remember that, Don? Yeah, we did that. You did that. That was cool, wasn't it? Oh, they got Peanuts Monopoly for Don. Got some Snoopy things here. Joe Cool. Yeah, one cool dog. This is a really cool puzzle. I love Tennessee. It's got... You know, Dollywood, Dolly there, all kinds of different things. Ruby Falls and Gatlinburg. And Hawaiian Punch, <laughs> Cheech and Chong, Cheez-Its. I got some really crazy. Oh, there's Chucky. And who's excited for the new Beetlejuice movie? Dawn's favorite subject, Killer Clowns. What? You like Killer Clowns, no. don't you? No. I got to meet Robert England once. Oh, Freddy Krueger. It's a lot nicer in, in real life. I always gotta stop at Buckboard too. Lots of fun. That is the biggest Bigfoot stuff I have ever seen. Yeah, you got the Mountain Mall, Ripley's Mirror Maze. Nothing like taffy in Gatlinburg. Cousins, lemonade, beef jerky, chocolate monkey, and the smell that's coming from here is amazing. I'm sorry. Every few minutes a new ogle dog is born. The best Bloody Marys in town. New York style pizzas and the calzones are crazy big. You got chocolate moonshine, the chicken hut, koala fashion. So the door is open to the old chicken guy location. And it looks like it's gonna be, I don't know, like an ice cream place or something. I got the pick the last time we went out for lunch and today Dawn has made a pick. She wants to do the local burrow, which is our favorite Mexican Tex-Mex restaurant in in Gatlinburg. We've been here before, but it's it's just that good. This is our favorite Tex-Mex in Gatlinburg, and uh, oh, it's gonna it's gonna be good.
So mechanical bull rides are $5. Dawn and I are gonna try the Fiesta Sampler. It's a little bit of everything. It's, it's quite big and I think it's plenty for both of us. We're also gonna get some street corn. And I love the atmosphere in here. Of course they have a singing donkey that don't work no more. I absolutely love the flair that they have in here. Really, really cool. It feels like you're in Mexico or very colorful. I think those wild animals are up to no good. And there's the famous burro that you can ride for $5. It's gotta be 18 years or older. And uh, I've never done it before. One of these nights I'm gonna come up here and give it a whirl. Two, they have two t-shirts for $25. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila floor. That came out quick. And these two plates here are the sampler that we ordered. It's got a little bit of a chicken quesadilla there. Uh, it's got some guacamole. And it also comes with a plate of nachos. Got some jalapeno, uh, different types of sauces, the tomato, uh, refried beans. And that is the street corn. And that stuff is absolutely amazing. Take a look at that. Oh boy, we got ourselves a spread here. Well, we got a lot to share, don't we? Yes, look at that. And this is a good deal for $30, the sampler, and then you get the, the nachos and the street corn. I think we'll go ahead and get in that street corn first, right? Yeah. The way street corn should be. It's good stuff. Probably some of the best street corn you can find here in East Tennessee. That's good, huh? Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna get a new tour. So is that queso? That's queso. White queso. Here's some fresh guacamole. And we still have this big take a look at that. Wow, that's that's crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of And the local burl is always good. A little pricey, but it's good. And this is where the old McDonald's once sat. Of course, you'll see the Puckers building, the China Bazaar building over there. Doing lots of things downtown. Yeah, it won't be long before Puckers will be back in here. And, and we always got to stop off here at the original Smoky Mountain Taffy. Oh, and the smell of Taffy. And there's, there's a little bit over there spinning around. An old-fashioned hook rug. And when you're in Gatlinburg, you have to try some of their fudge, some of their different candies they have, and don't forget the Taffy. The Smoky Mountain Candy Kitchen started in 1950, and it's moved around over the years to different buildings. There's a long history here in Gatlinburg. Dawn, come down this alley with me. I wanna, I got something for you. Come over, oh, we, we gotta do it in the alley though. I got your fix. <laughs> your taffy fix. I was trying to be funny. Yeah, we just get a little sample bag. It's kind of our dessert for today. And it's a great way. We live here, so we don't need, you know, we don't want to buy a big box. And, yep. Yeah. I like the merchandising a lot of these moonshine distilleries have up and down the strip. They always got something very unique going on. They have root beer shine. Hmm. And keep on shining. So they always have some interesting flavors here at Sugarlands. Maple bacon. I think last time we were here they had Eggo. <laughs> oh, I remember Eggo. But there's also an Eggo Waffle House at the top of the mountain. And they still have at the Eggo Brunch in a Jar Sipping Cream. Appalachian Sipping Cream. They got chocolate, coffee, birthday cake, banana pudding, peanut butter, Strawberries and cream. 
And they even have TV celebrities Mark and Diggers Hazelnut. They just got the moonshine straight up. Sugar Lands was crazy. There were so many folks in there. I had a hard time just walking around. Ripley's, believe it or not. <laughs> and Old Smoky Moonshine always has amazing teas as well. If the creek don't rise, those guys look like they're up to no good. And the rod runs will be coming up here shortly. Got some t-shirts for that. They have pickles that are soaked in moonshine here. And, they have, and it has its own merch. Pretty cool. This is... That is awesome. <laughs> Old Bigfoot likes to do a little fishing. Yeah, I like this one here. Gatlinburg. It's got the Space Needle. Somebody here is sipping on some, some shine. Oh, that one's cool too. They have some Popcorn Sutton t-shirts. And they have his own hooch right here. Strawberry mango, butterscotch, chocolate, peppermint. They got pretty much every flavor you can imagine. Sour raisin, raisinberry, watermelon. Yeah, I do like that shirt. That's a lot of fun. And I always have to come over here and check out these cherries. I heard those cherries are are pretty wild. They got the the mandarin oranges. And there's those moonshine pickles I was talking about earlier. If you love music and you love moonshine, this is a great little place here to come. You get a little bit of both. Um, and there's a lot of folks back there. People are, are out enjoying um, spring break. Definitely up to no good. Ripley's always has some interesting things. This creepy old Statue of Liberty is new. Yep. And it's quite busy here in Gatlinburg. What are the folks here? Ober Mountain. Ober Mountain has a Jeep Gladiator. Pretty cool. I like the, the color scheme. You know, you could do everything with a Jeep Gladiator. You can bring the whole family, yeah. do a little camping out of the back back there. What color is it? Uh, it's kind of like a gunmetal blue or something. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And it's different not seeing the rock shop anymore. In fact, there goes the aerial tram. There they go. Classic Gatlinburg. Ober Mountain. And there's no wait for Crockett's. Of course it's four o'clock in the afternoon, so they closed. But uh, Crockett's is really good. Yeah. Especially if you like like big skillets, you know, with like bacon and eggs and sausage and, and some um, biscuits and gravy. Really good. I do recommend the Cherokee Grill for a good steak. There's lots of great places in the area. But Cherry, Cherokee Grill is one of those places. Howard's got a little bit of a facelift here. Got some new signs. It looks like they brighten up the front of it. And got some new, new cement over here. And we've eaten here once. It was pretty good. I remember having a good experience. Here's their menu. You know, they have their appetizers. Nacho Supreme soups and salad and here's our steaks here and a $41 for a New York strip the ribeye is 44 <laughs> but Gatlinburg is looking good uh, the National Park looks like it's busy also a lot of traffic coming out of there I think they opened up 411 going over to North Carolina. It's been shut down because of ice and snow. But Gallenberg, it's looking good, ain't it? Yeah, yes. It's looking good. 
Yeah. We've got a little bit of um, Okini Kitchen taffy. Yeah. We had a great lunch it was good. at the local borough. Really, really good. The sampler was plenty with the corn on the cob thing. Yeah. Sweet corn. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was great. Oh, I got such good food there. I had to fight a lot for the other piece of corn. She <laughs> got it though. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Galenberg's looking great, folks. But that's going to do it for today here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. If you guys like this vlog, give a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, everyone.